Hi everyone, welcome to Medical Microbiology. Today we will continue chapter 3, uh, chapter 25, lecture 3, which is about the HIV virus. Okay. Uh, I think you still remember this grouping. So remember the RNA viruses that infect human is considered as animal viruses. Uh, mostly they will have envelope. And then because this is RNA, mostly they will be single stranded RNA. Okay. So this is the, the left group over here is the most common type of RNA virus that infect human, which is enveloped with single stranded RNA. And there are three type over here, which is the first one is segmented, uh, envelope segmented single stranded RNA. So if it is enveloped, there will be spike. I always remember envelope virus, usually they have spike for attachment and then capsid which is proteins and the uh, single stranded uh, rna because this is segmented it's going to be more than one segment of single stranded rna okay the second group will be uh, envelope non-segmented single stranded rna say so it is envelope Remember, gonna be spike. Okay, and it's gonna be capsid. And because this is non-segmented, then there is only one segment of single-stranded RNA inside. Now, the next one over here, the one that we will discuss in this uh, lecture, which is HIV or retroviruses. Eh? One of them is HIV. If you see the structure, it's actually like this. It has envelope, of course, spike, okay, and then the capsid, and it's actually carried two segment of RNA. Okay. Now, based on the structure, then these retroviruses or HIV is actually considered as segmented type of viruses. However, it is become special because this virus carry special thing, which is enzyme. So enzyme over here. Okay, I'm gonna change with black color. Okay. The enzyme carry special enzyme is called the uh, reverse transcriptase. Eh? So this is the one that make uh, this retroviruses or HIV become special and uh, it is put in uh, it on group, which is retroviruses. So this is the one that we'll uh, discuss today. Okay, again, it's IV uh, infection and AIDS. So the type of retrovirus is the one that carry special enzyme, which is reverse transcriptase that infect human uh, is called a human immunodeficiency, uh, def, de, uh, immunodeficiency viruses or HIV. Okay. And this is a type of acquired, acquired immunodeficiency. There are two types of immunodeficiency, actually. The, the first one is, is called the primary immunodeficiency, which is, uh, it is the patient habits since they were born. Uh, the acquired one is the one that is caused by something, like for example, is caused by these viruses. So this is acquired, which is after the patient, you know, uh, the, the person born, 
then they get the disease and the disease causing they to have yeah, causing them to have less uh, immune system right causing them to be deficiency on their immune system so this is a type of acquired or secondary this is another name for you know require, uh, acquired which is secondary uh, immunodeficiency syndrome or disease it is first imaged in early 1980 okay uh, this is some of sign of uh, symptom okay, uh, of AIDS which is severe pneumonia caused by pneumocystis xerophacy okay ordinarily this pneumocystis xerophacy is actually harmless so this is not really causing problem for healthy okay, normal uh, people okay? so this is actually fungi but if this fungi infect people with HIV, uh, with AIDS, then it causing them to have a very severe pneumonia. Okay? Uh, they also will have some vascular cancer. It's called the Kaposi sarcoma cancer. You can see this sign of this cancer on the skin. So their skin become a uh, blackish color because of this uh, cancer, Kaposi sarcoma. They also mostly will have sudden weight loss, swollen limb nodes. And of course, they will have general loss of immune function. So basically, they are unable to fight against infection. So eight patients, they usually die not because of the HIV, but mostly because of the secondary infection the infection that usually not that severe for normal people but for people with AIDS it can kill them okay 1959 is the, uh, the the year when the first AIDS was documented now the structure and as I mentioned before this virus actually carry two segments of RNA. So this is actually segmented uh, envelope single-stranded RNA. So you have you see the envelope, uh, the capsid over here, eh? and then the uh, two segments of RNA plus there are several uh, enzymes that this virus carry. So just remember enzyme mostly you know uh, mostly virus do not have enzyme because they're gonna use the enzyme of the host cell so this is a special for this virus because they carry special uh, enzyme and there are several of them okay uh, retrovirus the genus of lentivirus this is actually for the hiv okay? under the genus of lentiviruses again they have two eh, single-stranded rna so this is double single-stranded rna so they carry two segments eh? and this is the problem with this virus okay this virus carry the uh, reverse transcriptase enzyme it will make the dna okay their dna from their rna and this dna then will be integrated with the host dna and stay with the host dna forever that is mean that whenever someone okay uh, diagnosed positive for hiv then they will be positive hiv forever because this uh, dna of this virus okay is actually integrated with the host cell okay and of course, it causes disease called the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS. Okay, this is what is special with its IV. They have special spike. Okay, so spike that only infect the hot cell that has special receptor for that spike 
so it has a receptor for the uh, HIV virus spikes and only okay only CD4 mm -hmm. cell is actually have that receptor so what is CD4 CD4 is the cell that become uh, T helper okay so remember there are several type of white blood cell okay? uh, one of them uh, is called a T cell okay there are B cell there are T cell there are neutrophil uh, eosinophils, you know, uh, monocyte, and etc. And one of them, uh, one of uh, white blood cell types, is T cell. And there are two types of T T cell. Uh, T cell okay, usually, the first one is called the TC or cytotoxic C, and the second one is called the TH or T helper. And T helper is the one that will be infected by the HIV because only T helper that have receptor for uh, HIV spikes. Okay, so it look like this. Okay. So this is HIV virus with the spike. Okay. This is the spike, spike. And that spike only okay, bind to this receptor, okay. GP1120 uh, receptor which is only okay, located in the T helper, uh, T helper cell. So there, that's the reason why the HIV is actually only infecting the T helper and they will kill the T helper cell little by little. So if we have some million of uh, T helper, it will be killed little by little by this uh, HIV until it is, you know, their concentration gonna be very low and then what happened after it is very low that patient become AIDS so it needs several uh, sometimes months or years incubation period before that patient become AIDS okay from HIV positive into AIDS it takes sometimes months or year okay transmission mostly through the sexual uh, intercourse and that's the main type of tra uh, transmission also through the transfer of blood okay. babies can be also infected before or during birth okay from the breast uh, feeding and also from the umbilical cords okay. Okay, so this is the uh, transmissions uh, of HIV uh, through the blood, like for example, injection, uh, transfusion, or maybe uh, a broken skin, and then that person, for example, acquire blood that has HIV on it, and then this HIV will enter into uh, his system. Okay, uh, so usually, yeah, uh, uh, you know the road of transmission through the blood uh, and also sexual intercourse or transmission okay again first notable no, uh, noticeable uh, this disease in united states is 1980 1984 uh, and this is the sixth most common cause of death among young people in the United States. Eh? And men accounted for about 75% of new infection. Eh? IV drug abuse, uh, they consider you know, as a, a carrier for this disease, eh? uh, can be spread to the sexual, especially, you know, uh, heterosexual and homosexual uh, intercourse. In 2009, the number of infected individual worldwide is estimated to be 35 million eh, and about 1.2 million in the uh, US. 
the most populated area with AIDS patient is in the Sub-Sahara sub -Sahara continent in, in the Africa uh, country. Okay, this is the transmission. Okay, this is taken from CDC uh, data. Okay, the higher transmission is through the male to male sexual uh, contact, which is homosexual, about uh, 67%. Okay. And then heterosexual contact, uh, female about 16% and male about 7%. Uh, injection or drug use about 3% transmission uh, for female and for male about 4%. And male to male sexual contact and IDU, okay, about uh, 3%. Uh, so from this, and uh, then we should be able to notice that the homosexual actually have a higher risk of getting the HIV infection. Okay. The reason is because during the intercourse, there may be some uh, broken skin eh, uh, that can cause the virus to enter to the inside the uh, the body easily and this is just showing us the uh, rates of hiv infections among adults uh, in 2014 in the united states as we see usually uh, Bigger city, you know, they have higher infection rate. Okay, again, the HIV will enter through the mucous membranes under the skin, and finally, they will reach the blood. When they are reaching the blood, then they will be able to attached to the T helper, eh, T helper cell. And then inside the T helper, they will uh, make their own DNA from their RNA. And this DNA then will be uh, combined with the DNA of uh, human T helper cell. Okay. This is maybe easy, uh, easier to understand over here. First, uh, you know, when the virus enter the blood, then what happened? They will find the T helper, okay? The T helper, which is a one, uh, one type of T cell. And this T helper has a special receptor for the spike okay, of this HIV viruses. So this is the first stage is attachment. Okay? Remember again, stages of uh, virus life cycle start with the attachment. And then after that is penetration. Remember this is animal viruses, then they will penetrate with the capsid, you know? And therefore after penetration, there will be uncoating over here, right? So uncoating uh, where the capsid is open. And the RNA, there, remember there are two RNA that this virus carry, will be released into the cytoplasm, plus there will be release of this enzyme eh, into the cytoplasm. And this, this enzyme then will be used to create DNA eh, from the RNA. So this DNA is actually okay, produced from the RNA using the reverse transcriptase enzyme. Okay. Now, just for your information, this is actually the normal uh, production uh, or the normal uh, process of DNA, RNA in, uh, in animal cell or in the cell. Okay, remember if it is the cell, okay, the cell membrane, this is the nucleus, for example. Okay, 
inside nucleus there will be DNA, okay, which is the gene. And this DNA will be actually converted into RNA. That's the normal process, RNA. And this, this RNA will be out from the cell, and then it will be attached by the ribosome, okay, to produce the protein. Okay, that's the process. You see this over here inside the cell, okay, there is a production of RNA from DNA, and this production using special enzyme is called the transcriptase. Okay? That's the reason why this process is called is called the transcription. Okay? Transcription of RNA from DNA using this transcriptase. Now, this is what very unique with this uh, HIV virus. They carry the reverse transcriptase. It means that reverse the process. Instead of from DNA into RNA, yeah, the process is actually uh, from RNA okay, into DNA. Okay, of course, the enzyme will be reverse enzyme. Uh, the enzyme is called the reverse transcriptase. Okay, so this is the process that is done by these viruses. It's able to make their own DNA from their own RNA. And this DNA then will enter into the cell and will combine with the human DNA. In this case, it is inside the T helper cell or CD4 cell. So this is the integrations of virus DNA right, in or with the human DNA. And it will stay here forever. And then this part of this gene, which is the virus gene, will produce the DNA, uh, RNA over here. Right? using the here the transcriptase enzyme that is available in human cell okay so they're using the transcriptase enzyme of human cell they carry their own reverse transcriptase because human cell do not have this uh, uh, do not have this enzyme okay so by using the human transcriptase enzyme they are able to produce their rna from is part of their uh, DNA that is integrated with the human DNA. And then this RNA will be used, you know, to make the proteins, eh? like the capsid and also the spike. And also used for making or replicating the, uh, their own RNA. Okay, so this is a synthesis over here. And then this is going to be assembly. Okay, and then what happens, you know, after assembly, the virus will be released. Okay, maybe thousands of them will be released from one infected cell. And then this virus that is released will be able, available to uh, infect other cell or because it is located in the blood, will be carried by the blood and then be, uh, can be transmitted to other people. Okay, so this is the cycle of HIV virus inside the CD4 or T helper of human uh, cell. Okay. okay, now the effect of this HIV in human body. Okay, uh, the primary effects of HIV infection, okay, will be extreme leukopenia. What is leukopenia mean? Leuko mean white blood cell. Penia mean lower. So it's causing the uh, white blood cell, especially the T cell, which is part of the lymphocyte, 
to be very very low in number and because they destroy this uh, lymphocyte this t cell okay uh, the t helper and then also can cause formation of giants And they can also infect the uh, macrophages that release virus into the CNS uh, uh, nervous system uh, with the toxic effect and some inflammation. So this is the primary effects of HIV. And the secondary effects, this is the one that actually causing the patient to uh, to be uh, to die, okay, because of the destructions uh, of CD4 will cause this patient to be unable to protect against some opportunistic infection. Okay, like just regular flu, okay, or regular uh, diarrhea, for example, it can kill this AIDS patient. Okay, they unable to really protect themselves against very uh, mild infection. Okay, usually the, for normal people, it will not cause problem. Okay, now look at these stages of infection over here. Okay, so we're going to look at this. Okay? This is the number of T helper uh, that is will be going down during the infection. Boom, going down, 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 down here. Over here, okay, this is the threshold over here, which is 200 okay, cell per microliter of blood. So whenever the T helper or CD4 lower than 200 cell per microliter blood, then this person will start to have what we call the AIDS. So the AIDS is starting when this person has a very low number of T helper. Now, how long to take this from in, you know, from the first infection until this AIDS disease? It depends on uh, that person. Okay? Sometimes some people maybe only month. Sometime, you know, some people take about two until 15 years okay to become AIDS okay? from HIV positive this one until AIDS sometimes take time about two until 15 years it's mean that during this time this patient actually do not have really uh, severe symptom okay? uh, or maybe no sign at all but they able to transmit or transfer the disease to other from for this long year eh? so you can imagine sometimes we don't know someone have uh, it's IV positive and they do not have the sign and symptom yet because what because they they are not in the AIDS condition yet okay but they able to uh, transfer the disease to others Okay, again, most of the time, this one will have the asymptomatic, which is no sign and symptom for several years. And then after the T helper or CD4 uh, reads 200 cell per microliter blood or lower than that, then the, they, they start to have, the patient will start to have the eight sign and symptom which is their immune system will be very very low okay the testing uh, for uh, HIV mostly using ELISA tests uh, to uh, confirm the HIV positive infection Now, the AIDS, eh, when that person is considered as having AIDS, of course, the main, the first uh, 
uh, measurement is when their CD4 okay, or T helper eh, is lower than 200 cell okay, per microliter blood. So this is the, the first measurement. Eh? And then after that, there are also several uh, indication of age. Okay? Of course, this is the first indication over here, which is here. Okay? CDC provided a list of age defining illnesses. So usually people with age will have this type of disease or illnesses, which is a lot. Eh? Therefore, the CDC put it in long list. Uh, there is a list of defining illnesses that give the sign and symptom of someone that have AIDS. Okay. So in the skin eh, and mucosal membranes, they have this cytomegalopharesis eh, uh, uh, around the eyes, eh, which is retinitis, which can cause loss of vision. And again, on the skin, they will have a herpes simplex. Eh? And then also, as I mentioned, is the Kaposi sarcoma. So these are the list of defining illnesses for it in the skin. Eh? How about nervous system? Eh? So they will have this type of disease, cryptococcosis, which is, you know, these infections causing some uh, extrapulmonary infection, and also HIV encephalopathy, uh, which is damage in uh, the brain, lymphoma primary in the brain, and leukoencephalopathy. Party, eh, and sometimes toxoplasmosis of the brain. So it's not only in the skin, eh, the disease, okay, some infection also attack the brain system or the nervous system. Okay, how about the cardiovascular system and lymphatic system? Okay, coccodiomycosis, which is this is eh, caused by uh, fungi. So fungi eh, will enter into the cardiovascular system and the lymphatic system causing this fungal infection. Uh, cytomegalovirus, which is the human herpes virus number uh, five, eh? it can also infect uh, patient with AIDS. Histoplasmosis, this is fungi infection. Okay. Burkitt lymphoma, this is EBV, okay? Epstein-Barr viruses. Uh, lymphoma, mycobacterium cancasi, mycobacterium tuberculosis, so TB, uh, salmonella uh, septicemia. So this okay, uh, organism or this germ, okay, whether bacteria, uh, fungi, or viruses, uh, they can uh, enter into the AIDS patient and causing this diseases okay list of disease okay in the cardiovascular and lymphatic system this is respiratory tract infection so candidiasis which is caused by fungi herpes simplex bronchitis this is caused by uh, viruses mycobacterium okay, this is bacteria tuberculosis this is also bacteria uh, pneumocystis xerophacy this is caused by fungi pneumonia and you know this is all the list of disease that telling us eh, if the uh, patient of AIDS they usually have these many disease on their body because what because they are unable to really uh, protect themselves against uh, many infection a uh, GI tract uh, uh, infection candidiasis esophagus herpes simplex isosporiasis, eh? uh, uh, genitourinary infection, uh, uh, cervical carcinoma, herpes simplex, simplex chronic ulcer, and many more. Okay, so this is just telling us how bad is 
patient with AIDS actually they really unable to protect themselves against diseases because they unable to uh, you know give the protection from the T helper so T helper is one of the main uh, white blood cell that protect us against many diseases and so far there is no vaccine for HIV eh, or for AIDS and there is also no cure eh? so whenever someone have HIV positive eh, and if they do not really take the drugs or medicine and then they will uh, go to the AIDS condition so how about the drug? The drug is usually just used to slow down, eh? slow down the progress from HIV positive into AIDS. So the drug that many people with HIV positive take is usually for slowing down the process of HIV positive into AIDS disease. Okay, it's not really cure the HIV positive. Right? Just remember, because the DNA of the virus actually stay in uh, the patient uh, cell or DNA. Okay, therefore it will not be removed. It cannot be removed. The process is only kind of slowing down this. Uh, the drug is usually only slowing down the process from positive into AIDS. Okay, like for example, there are some drugs that inhibit the enzyme. So if that patient, for example, you know, HIV positive patient take, uh, take this drug, then the process of making, you know, uh, DNA uh, will be slower. But when that patient do not take it, for example, stop taking that drug, then the process will be faster again. Uh, in the fusions uh, of the you know uh, the virus eh? uh, inhibit viral integrations uh, of virus into the cell uh, antiretroviral eh? which is also used for uh, slowing down the enzyme so all of this drug is actually mostly to slow down the process and remember when the patients it's iv positive patients stop taking the drugs then the process will be faster again okay so you might hurt some uh, people you know like athletes or maybe you know uh, some artists they have hiv positive but they still in hiv positive you know uh, for a long long time eh? Uh, they 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 are not become AIDS patient yet because what because mostly they taking the drugs to slow down this process and the drug price is very very expensive for this HIV uh, positive and also the drug uh, mostly will cause the side effects to the person that take this drug okay they might be causing nausea for meetings and some other side effects yeah. there is another uh, retrovirus cell i mean virus you know uh, that in the human is called the human t-cell lymphotropic viruses uh, this is causing some uh, uh, leukemia to some patient uh, it's a chronic type of disease uh, usually the person that have this uh, disease will have some sign and symptom like bruising uh, bleeding paleness in the skin fatigue okay and recurring minor infection this is less uh, <coughs> severe in uh, compared to the AIDS okay so the leukemia that caused by the human T cell uh, is less considered as less severe compared to the other retrovirus which is HIV that causing the disease called AIDS okay so again human T cells uh, this is there are two types okay it's the LV, LV1 and it's the 
hal uh, LV number two. The HD LV number two even less severe because mostly the patient will not have the sign or symptom. This is kind of a symptomatic type of uh, infection. Okay, I think that's uh, that's all for the retroviruses, which is HIV and human. Uh, HDLV viruses. And again, the most uh, severe one from these retroviruses is the HIV, uh, human immunodeficiency viruses that can cause AIDS, uh, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. I think uh, we'll stop here and then uh, the next lecture will be discussing the non-enveloped RNA uh, viruses. Goodbye now.